All right, so now let's go ahead and create our very first fragment. And for this, I'm just going to have the fragment that we're going to eventually put on the top of main activity. And that, of course, is two inputs, one for the user to type in the top text and one for them to type in the bottom text and a button. And whenever they click that button, it's going to add that text to the top of the image. So, of course, it's like going to memify it. So in order to create a fragment, what you need to do is you need to have two parts. The first part is the layout, how the fragment's going to look, and the second part is the Java file, the pretty much the brains behind your fragment. So again, even though every single fragment is in, indeed going to consist of an XML file and a Java class, remember that they're pretty much set up the same way, but you can't just have a fragment standing alone. It needs to be part of an activity. So that's the main difference between an activity and a fragment. You can have just an activity, but whenever you create a fragment, it needs to be part of an activity. So remember that it's actually pretty important. So anyways, in order to create a fragment, this is what you do. The first thing I'm going to do is actually just create the XML file. So if you go to your layout right here and you right click it and choose new layout resource file, this is pretty much just saying create a new XML file. So I'm going to say OK, click that. And what do you want your layout or XML file to be named? I'm just going to name mine top section fragment. Now another thing I want to do is I actually want to change this root element to relative layout. So well, I got, I'll show you guys what this does right now. So click OK. And if we switch to text view, we can see that it pretty much just created a blank XML file using relative layout instead of, I forgot what the last, what was it by default, linear layout, I think. All right. So of course, this looks like an activity right here, but of course we know that it's a fragment. It's part of an activity that we're eventually going to be adding to something else. So let's go ahead and get creating it right now. So again, I'll create the first input first, and that is edit text. And as you can see, it are already fills in a couple attributes for us. So for the layout width, I just want to use wrap content and also the same for the layout height. And the very first attribute I want to add above all of this is actually Android ID. And for this ID, I'm just going to call it, um, what can I name this? Something like top text input. All right, so now we have a very basic input form. So now let's add some other properties just to make sure it's laid out properly. All right, so it's in the top left corner right now. So if I change Android, oh, look at that. Layout center horizontal. It already knows what I want to do. Sweet. And change it to true. Then it's going to position it in the middle of the screen. Now, another thing I want to do is I kind of want to bump it down a bit because it's, I don't want to touch in the very top, as you guys can see it is. So Android layout, actually see if I can find it, Lay, layout underscore margin top. And for this, I'll just move it down like 15 dp, that should be good. All right, looks pretty good. Now, of course, the last thing I need to do is if I want to allow the user to type this, type any text in at all, I probably should make it a little bit wider. So Android width, and I'm just going to change this to 300 dp. All right, that looks pretty good. So this is for the top, and of course the bottom one's going to be really similar. So we can just copy this and paste it right in there. Now, of course. The first thing we need to do is we need to give it a new ID and I'm just going to call this bottom text input and let's see the width is the same, the height's the same. One thing I want to do is this. If I do Android layout below, then I can say position this below another item. Well, what item? Well, the only other one we have is this. So position it below top text input, which is right here. Now for everything else, just center horizontal. Margin top means how far do you want to put it below this one right here. So 15 dp is fine. And for the width, 
of course the same with make sure everything looks real nice and neat so after this the one last piece we need for the top fragment is that button so the button of course I'm just gonna have this wrap content and wrap content and of course it's in the top left right now which looks really bad but before we start positioning anything what I want to do is put Android ID and for the ID what ID can I give this a button that's pretty creative eh all right so now we have an ID now we can identify it whenever we need to and actually why are my freaking line numbers shown by default it makes me so angry all right so what do we have to do now probably add some text to it would be nice so Android text what text do we want to appear um we'll just say like uh dank meme bro all right that button is looking sweet and i actually i want to add the margin top and i'm too lazy to type it so i'm just going to copy and um we should probably should lay this out below here So lay it out below there. Actually, I want to lay out lay it out below the bottom one. All right, so it's laid out right there, and also center horizontal. All right, so looking pretty good. Let's. Is there anything else I need to do? And the layout looks pretty sweet, but I do know that there's one other thing that's going to annoy me. So go over in your design view design view all right now click the button and of course that string we typed in thank me and bro it's yelling at us because we don't treat it as a string resource and just name this something like button text and click OK so now that string it's now a resource and all right we don't got any warnings or anything like that so now that our fragment is designed what we need to do next is add the Java class to it the second part that you need for every single fragment the brains behind the beauty so that's what we're gonna be doing in the next tutorial so I will see you guys then